hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i'm going to address a few bugs that i have in my bow and arrow system so the first problem i'm going to solve is this sometimes even if it's uh, my arrow <coughs> supposed to hit the hit this character wait uh, it doesn't hit the enemy actor that's uh, uh, let me show you a demonstration of when this happens okay that's yeah oh sorry it's really hard to show the bug when I need to show it right Okay, here is a few uh, another here is a bug. So yeah, as you can see here, this arrow is yeah. So why did this happen? Okay, so the reason must be this. So here, first I do a trace not here yeah first uh, let me open my player character yeah here I do this trace and get the target and when I get the target it should be like this let's say well, let's take a screenshot well let's consider a case like this well let me enable toggle debug camera and let's consider this view okay uh, let me take a snip of this view right so I think this must be what's happening so let's uh, can I zoom out here it seems I can't okay all right so yeah the collisions of the characters are like this and let's say I am trying to hit uh, this character I'll call it character one from from this player character so when I do the first trace that means here in this trace I'll get a, I may get a hit like this when I do the trace okay I can't undo it here so let's go to paint right those things are still there let's take another screenshot it's really hard to explain things okay now let's paste it here right now this is what I'm saying let's zoom this a little bit well let's see the 50 or 100 okay let's do it like this 
okay so let me draw the collisions of these characters so this may be like this and this may be like this and I am trying to do a trace from here that means actually from my camera to this character like this oh no so let's say my camera is somewhere here camera is somewhere here okay and from the camera I'm doing a trace like this and this is the hit point this point so the next trace happening from the arrow tip from the arrow uh, position to the to this point so it may be like this okay let me select the line to yeah it may be like this I'm doing the trace like this so here sometimes when I do this second trace I may not get a hit here because I'm doing the trace up to the point that happened the last trace hit so yeah so what should I do is instead of doing my ending my trace here it would be better if I prolong my tracing a little bit further like this so in that case I should definitely get a hit right so let's try that okay let's delete things that we don't need anymore yeah for this ending How do I get the end? Actually, I am feeding uh, this end value uh, directly from this target. Target is the end of the trace. So instead of doing that, let me do this. Let's, uh, yeah, I already have this unit direction vector from the arrow location to this target location so then well I already have this node and I am not using it so I'll delete it then I have this direction vector and I'll multiply this one with uh, something like let's say 50 and then let's add this vector to this vector and use it as the end so that's essentially what I am doing is the thing that prolonging this line tracing that I explained here and compile and let's see if uh, that solution worked so let's uh, try shooting these guys okay he got hit right he got hit this time too okay yeah I think it is working because I'm not missing him right he's dead yeah it was a headshot yeah I think that solution works and the next bug I want to solve is this so let's hit this guy a couple of times first right now as you can see there it's, no, it's not visible here 
yeah, and uh, yeah, as you can see here, I have the sword and also another arrow in my hand. So here, what happens is this. I am supposed to put back the arrow when I release the key old here. In this part, I am supposed to um, put back that arrow onto the quiver. And here, wow, yeah, for some reason, I have disabled, I have disconnected this part. Why is that? Yeah, actually this must be the reason must be that let's say I am equipped I have equipped an arrow and I have shot it. So then I release alt. So then I should go back to uh, the not non aiming mode. So yeah, in that case uh, before destroying this arrow object that I already have in the hand I should make sure that uh, I should check whether have I shot that arrow or not. So how can I check that? Yeah, maybe I can do something like this. Let's uh, connect this one like this. And let's go to the arrow shooting part yeah here here after i call in the fire mode the fire event of this arrow i'll set uh, this arrow variable uh, not like that set arrow variable to nothing that means I'm clear in that variable so in this in this way uh, by this part if I already have an arrow object reference that means I haven't shot it if I don't have one that means maybe I have shot it so yeah let's see if this works Okay, I got some error. Target must have a connection. How can I give a null? Can't I give a null? Am I using the correct variable? Okay, so this must be the variable. Right, it works. Then what is this? Static mesh component. Do I have a component called arrow? I don't know. Let's still just delete this one and see if that works. So here I'll equip an arrow and release it. Right, in this way that arrow is destroyed. It is not anymore on my hand. So now let's hit this guy with the arrow and release. Okay, there is another issue. There is another bug that I have to fix. Let's try that one again. Right. Now I'll release over it. And there should be an arrow. Yeah, that arrow is still there. Plugged, stick to that character. Okay. So I think that problem is solved. Right. 
and still there are some other problems as well for example so if I get hit while I'm drawing an arrow well, that works <laughs> Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, here you can see that there is another arrow object in my hand. So that happens. Yeah. In some cases, when my aim in montage is interrupted or oh, something's happened, and in that case, this part does not take place. Yeah, this part uh, everything after this part so that happens so when that happens my arrow stays in the hand and um, yeah but uh, I think I'll fix that problem another day uh, maybe in the next episode and yeah that's all for today and I'll, surely I'm going to make this arrow system perfect and fix all the problems and keep it uh, fix the coexistence of bow and arrow system with the melee combat system and also I need to implement projectile shooting as well and and uh, if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club right here link would be in the description below and uh, you will have different privileges uh, like accessing the source code and code snippets and other things depending on the tier you join and thank you for watching see you in the next episode goodbye